In other news, Oklahoma is in the middle of a summer COVID surge. With the 4th of July holiday in our rearview mirror, it looks like cases and hospitalizations are on the rise again. But as News 4's Austin Brissett found out, this latest surge is much different than ones we've seen before. The number of people in the hospital with COVID has started to go back up again. While he says he doesn't expect us to get back to the over 2,000 hospitalized COVID patients we saw as Omicron raged on early this year, Dr. Dale Bratzler with OU Health says more than 200 people are in hospitals statewide right now, up from our low point of about 80 people after the January surge. Even within OU Health that we've seen cases in the hospital going up steadily. Three Omicron subvariants are circulating in the state and region, making up almost 98% of new cases, with one of them spreading very rapidly, making up almost 57% of those same cases. Another problem, that same subvariant has something called antibody escape, causing reinfections. Even though you may have had Omicron infection before, or you may be fully vaccinated, uh, BA.5 is escaping the antibodies that you may have already developed. The good news though, the majority of those people are not being hospitalized, but the numbers of tests done has also gone up tenfold, with the seven day average showing over 1,000 infections per day. But doctors still stress the importance of the vaccines available right now. You can be vaccinated against COVID and get infected, but people who are fully vaccinated, particularly those that have gone ahead that were eligible and got their booster dose, have a very low risk of serious complications of the disease, hospitalization and death. Austin Brissett, Oklahoma's News 4. Pfizer and Moderna are developing a specific vaccine booster dose to help curb the issues with these subvariants. But Dr. Bratzler says he wouldn't expect them to be available before the fall.